I'm going to do a takeoff for this barrel ceiling and drop in the parts with the drywall plug-in. Let me show you what a barrel ceiling looks like. We're going to use inch and five eight studs and some angle, inch and a half angle, and some plywood on the ceiling here. So in the drywall plug-in, you'll see I have a folder called barrel ceiling. We'll expand the folder. We'll left click on the green button for the angle and the plywood. The framing tab on the top, inch and a half by inch and a half angle. The pitch of this barrel ceiling, we got to figure that out. So take a calculator and I'll show you this is how we do it. It says that it's 11 foot to 12 foot. So I'm going to take that one foot step and convert the feet into inches and call that 11 foot uh, or 24 inches is the one foot step. And then I'm going to take the length of the barrel, which is 10 foot 3, and I'm going to say 24 inches divided by 10 foot point 3 equals 2.33. So that's the pitch on this ceiling, 2.33. Hit my tab key. I'm going to use a piece of angle on each plywood, so I'm going to say two runs of angle. And <clears throat> I use half inch CDX plywood and say OK. I put a piece of plywood here at this end of the ceiling and a piece of plywood at this end of the ceiling. Now that picture I showed you was a really long ceiling so we had to put break the studs up. This one here is only 10 foot long so we can make this one stud um, ceiling. So we'll grab the studs now and we'll pick our studs with the stud tab. We're going to use inch and 5 eighths inch and a quarter flange, 18 mil, 25 gauge stud. And I've got this all default for this ceiling, but you can change these to whatever studs that you want. Now the barrel ceiling stud length is going to be 10 foot, and I'm going to put them at 6 inches on center, and I'm going to order a 10 foot stud and <clears throat> click OK and I'm going to digitize the length of the stud here click escape and that's it then I'm going to grab the barrel ceiling drywall and on the framing I'm going to put the pitch in there 2.33 and this is where you would put the price. You're going to have to figure out how much do you want to pay to build that ceiling for your framers. I'm going to give them $4 a linear foot. And <clears throat> this is where you put the price for this ceiling. All these ceiling parts are built this way. They're not in the database. They're each individually inside the part. So if you want to change the prices, you just change it right here. And click on the drywall tab and pick the drywall that you want to use. I got default at quarter inch high flex. The board length or board size. It's only one size um, on each side or one layer. Pick the screws and the joint compound joint tape, and then the hanging and the finishing, and click OK, and digitize the, the ceiling. And that's it. All these parts will be dropped in the ceiling, and it will calculate how much that's going to cost labor and material, and we can look into the estimating tab now and take a closer look at it.
three pieces of angle, one piece of plywood, 21 10 foot studs, three pieces of drywall, a little bit of mud, $2.53 worth of mud, it's not even a bucket, um, 18 cents worth of tape, then your screws, your barrel ceiling framing. I'm going to pay him $128 to frame that ceiling. And <clears throat> the hanger and the finisher. And that completes this video.